A pleasure to me all at last, and welcome back to HJN Season 3 with this little series that is essentially like a cross between HJN and HWH, or Hot Wheels Hilarity. I call this series Tiny Diecast Fury, and it's essentially what you think it is. A series about reviewing different Hot Wheels models that I currently own, and I have a lot to own, so do expect a good amount of this whole season to be all about this. To be all about this location, and etc. But, it's time to talk about a Highway 35 model. Yeah, there's tons of Highway 35 models, there's tons of Acceleracers models, there's tons of models in general that come from this whole continuity that relates to Hot Wheels related media. The 1997 Ford F-150, which was driven by a guy named Chuvo from the film Highway 35 World Race, released in December 2003, is without a doubt probably one of the best that I was able to pick up from this exact lineup. And the Highway 35 World Race cars, all 36 of them, unless of course you're counting Z36 or Z36, as many of us had figured out exactly why is it called Z36? Well, it's a Canadian property. That's what the film is. It came from a Canadian company called Mainframe and was certainly much different than what Mattel themselves probably would have made for themselves, but nonetheless, it gave us some really darn good vibes. This particular version of the 97 Ford F-150 sure is, without a doubt, probably one of the best looking models that I was able to pick up. Purple, orange, silver, black. How could you go wrong with a color palette like this? But it's probably most redeeming quality is the fact that this actually performs unlike a good majority of pickup truck models that I've ever had on various Hot Wheels related tracks. All the layouts that I've been able to set up over the years, it's hard to imagine what kind of models can actually do well and others cannot do well. While it might seem obvious on the outside, on the inside, every single model has its own trademark secret embedded within its own plastic or metal chassis. And in this particular case, the 97 Ford F-150 sure has quite a lot of qualities that help it to race down the track with ease, high speeds, fly through curves, head through loops, and other such stunt kits with ease though not all cases are meant to have this thing be successful. Yet, I'm not really going to complain about that or anything else about the 97 F-150 because it is just, in fact, a great model. That's all I'd have to say about that, and a lot of people might think differently, but everybody's got a different mindset, it seems. But this is just what I have to say about this, and that will, in fact, be that. So, if you want to see more go down on my channel, then make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side. 